beauties welcome back to my channel so today's video is self-care ideas so i have three types of self-care ideas i have the physical self-care ideas the emotional self-care ideas and the mental self-care ideas so i categorize them into three so let's just jump into the physical self-care ideas that we can do so number one is swimming Yes, swimming is a part of self-care. When you go to swimming, oh, your body is relaxed. You're not even thinking about anything. You are just there enjoying yourself. Your muscles are stretched. Your brain is reset. I love swimming. Then the next, again, in my list, I have them here is dancing. Yes. Oh, you dance and dance away your sorrow. You dance and dance away whatever worries you have. Dancing is so good. Sometimes when I own the music and stay dancing, ah, oh, it's also a part of what? Exercises, yes. So I love dancing. The next on my list is doing yoga. Oh, the first day I attended yoga class, my God, I love it. It was so beautiful. It was so refreshing. Yoga is one of the self-care ideas I am giving you. The next is having a quality sleep. Yes, I know that we talk about sleep good, sleep good. Having a quality sleep is, is one of the things you can do to yourself. When you wake up, you feel energized. You are happy. You are fulfilled. It's like opposite of when you don't sleep good. You wake up, you will be somehow grumpy. You will be somehow moody. Your system, everything will be so slow. So sis, try to give yourself a quality sleep, especially we mothers that doesn't even have time. When you make out time for yourself, sis, enjoy that quality sleep because it's worth having then the next on my list is eating healthy health they said is wealth let's forget about junk food that are doing harm to our body eat your fruit eat your vegetable eat all the classes of food that we need for our body we need it healthy eating is very good it's one of the self-care ideas then the next on my list is taking a walk have you Notice when you go outside, when you take a walk, that fresh breeze, that fresh air, the sounds of birds, ah, oh, they are so refreshing. I love taking a walk. I notice that whenever it is too much at home, I open the door, take a move, take a walk, not driving a car, but just walking around the neighborhood. When you come back, you feel like, ah, oh, I have tanked my energy. I have we have refilled my energy. So taking a walk is also good. The next on my list on a physical self-care idea is getting a massage. My birthday is coming and I told my family I just need a massage. So I'm going to go to a massage studio and let them do with me whatever they will. Ah, oh, I cannot wait to have that. I've done that before. It is so good. It is so relaxing. All your muscles all your oh god i love doing that so taking a massage having a massage is also one of the physical self-care ideas i'm giving now let's move to mental self-care ideas what are the mental self-care ideas i'm about to give here number one is to listen to music oh there is this energy that comes with listening to a good music okay i love listening to a good music it makes me happy. It makes me fulfilled. I even sing with, even though my voice is not good, but I still sing with, okay? So listening to music, quiet music is very good. The next is reading books. I am not an advocate of reading books, but my big kids, they love reading books a lot. So I am learning from them. Sometimes I sit down, I take a book. Sometimes I even uh, read a children's book. You know, I read whatever books that comes my way. So reading book is one of self-care ideas that you can do to help yourself. The next is journaling. A lot of people do ask me, what am I going to journal? I say, journal how your day started. Journal how your YouTube is going. Journal how your relationship in your marriage. You can journal everything. 
You can even go to market, come back, you sit down and journal what you did in the supermarket. It's journaling. You don't, we don't have a special thing to journal. You journal whatever that comes to your mind, whatever that you feel like you want to journal. You can even journal your relationship with your God, your relationship with your friends, colleagues at work. You can journal everything. Journaling is also part of mental self-care uh, ideas. Then the next on my list is avoid toxic places or toxic people. Yes. If you understand this thing that I'm saying, if you surround yourself in a toxic environment, sis, there is nothing good that will come out of it. You will have this, this feeling that you are not doing the best. So always try to surround yourself, you know, with, with good people. Leave that toxic environment you are. Leave that toxic relationship you are because it's not going to help you. It is good to be in a peace. It is good to be in a good place. It is good to be in a non-toxic environment. It's part of our self-care. Mentally, is going to do you a very good. So the next on my list is to meditate. Yes, I love meditating. Whenever I am alone in the house, I read my Bible. I sit in a, in a couch and meditate about word of God. Meditate about my relationship with my God. Meditate. You can meditate. Even the book you read, you can meditate on it. Okay, meditation is also good for our mental self-care. Then the next is watch a good movie. Oh, I am not... A movie type of a person but if i want to watch movie and i love that movie i can watch it there is this movie that i watch pretty woman i know everybody know this uh, movie anytime this movie comes up again in netflix or in my television i will sit down and watch and it will and when i watch it i feel like this is the first time watching it so watching a good movie is also very good for our mental self-care then the next is singing Ooh, i cannot sing to save my life but i still sing i sing and 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 there is this happiness that comes with singing if I'm having my shower, I am singing. If I am doing something, I am singing. Even I have to control myself at the working place because sometimes I will lose control and I will start singing and my colleagues will be looking at me like, okay, okay. So singing is one of the self-care. Then the next is declutter your closet. I know you were asked, ah, Beauty by Angie, what do you mean by decluttering your closet? How does it have to do with uh, mental self-care? Yet it does. You know that feelings when you open your wardrobe and everywhere is scattered. Your life is scattered in your wardrobe. No, we don't want it. I love it when I open my wardrobe. Everything is well organized. I can see if I'm looking for a pair of trousers, I will know, oh, here it is. I pick it up. I hate searching and then you will scatter and scatter. And another thing with decluttering your closet is there are some clothes that you don't even need that are occupying space, that are making your wardrobe uncomfortable. So when you declutter, that process of you bringing everything out of your closet and you start arranging them, ah, oh, there is this piece that comes with it. And then when you walked into your closet and you see how arranged your perfume, your shoes, your blazers your everything ah ah oh, it is good so decluttering your closet is one of the mental self-care now let's move to emotional self-care because i don't want this video to be long so the emotional self-care ideas i have here is number one is positive self-affirmation says if you know you know that i'm advocate of positive self-affirmation I love myself, I am good, I am pretty, I am wonderfully and fearfully made of my God, I belong to my father, yes I can, even when I fail, I pick up my pieces and said, beauty by NG, you can do better. Positive affirmation is very good for our emotional, you know, self-care ideas. When we are feeling bad or when we are feeling down, we'll pick up those words. Don't feel bad, sis. It is good to feel bad, but then don't let that feeling bad weigh you down. Tell yourself you can do better. So the next on my list is celebrate every win no matter how small that your win is celebrate it don't pack don't keep packing your wins and be waiting for when you when you win the biggest when immediately i monetized my channel i celebrated that win every little thing is meant to be celebrated celebrate your wins it is a way of emotional self -care self care idea okay so the next on my list is to be grateful don't be an ungrateful person be grateful for life be grateful for having food on your table. 
Be grateful for having shelter over your head. Be grateful for having clothes on your body. Be grateful for people around you. Be grateful for whatever life throws to you, that positively throws to you. Be grateful, okay? So the next on my list is express your feelings. If you are feeling bad, let people around you know that you are feeling bad. If somebody hurts you, let that person know that he or she hurts you. Don't be keeping grudges. Don't be keeping all those things within you because it is mentally, it is draining you. So whenever you are feeling bad, express it. It is not bad to feel bad. Sometimes you wake up in the morning, you will have this, this unpleasant feelings within you. Sometimes I will tell my husband, ah, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. And the word my husband will tell me will energize me, will make me to come out of that unpleasant situation. So always do what? Express your feelings. Don't hide them. Don't keep them and be feeling that maybe nobody will care for it. No, people care for people. We are there to care for each other. So the next is let go of negativity. Sometimes negative um, thought comes into our mind. We we'll start justifying ourselves. We start telling ourselves how bad we are, how good for nothing we are. Let go of those feelings. It doesn't worth it. In our self-care journey, we don't need that. We need all positivity, positive positivity, 100% positive positivity. That is all we need. So beauties. Here comes to the end of this video. I hope you enjoy this. Self-care for Beauty NG is very important. I love my peace. I love my space. Everything that makes me happy, I love it and I go for it. And I hope also that you learn one or two things on this video. And if you do, kindly give my video a thumbs up. Comment, like, share and subscribe please if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Click that bell button. It doesn't cost anything, sis. We are here to grow together. We are here to hold each other hand to grow. So let me stop rambling. Self-care is very important, especially we mothers, especially we ladies, even men. Self-care is also important for every human being, even for children. It is also very important. So I love you all. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.